What is up everyone, my name is Phil, the channel is Phil's Polls, and we are back with another card opening video. Um, today is more of a reveal video, a top 10 video. Um, I'm actually not gonna be opening any cards of my own on this one, but instead counting down the top 10 cards pulled out of 2019 Transcendent this year. I thought I would do a video like this, uh, not only because these polls are amazing, um, but also because I am doing a group break, sort of. Kind of one of my first ones ever, actually. I am opening a case of 2019 Transcendent for a video. It will not be live. It will be um, a recorded video by me. Um, you'll see all the cards um, pulled out in front of you. And then um, Houdini over at Blowout is going to do the randomizing and the filling of the spots and basically all the annoying stuff. So uh, shout outs to him. Uh, he might actually make an appearance in uh, this countdown we're about to do. And as I've mentioned in other videos, he is also giving away a spot in this break. It's a 58 spot, guaranteed hit, $469 spot. Uh, if you wanna buy into it, I will leave the link down in the description, or all you have to do is leave a positive comment and you have a chance to win that spot. That's it, just a positive comment down in the comments below and, uh, and you're good to go there. Um, I would also like to, before we kick things off here, um, I'd like to give a shout out to All About Sports Cards. Uh, I will link his Twitter down below. He was instrumental in helping me get footage of all these hits and permission to use them and all that kind of annoying stuff that goes into videos like this, but it is well worth it. Just wait until you see these cards. They're unbelievable and we will be opening a case uh, of this on the channel. That is that. Leave a like and subscribe as usual and let's get into this countdown. Number 10. So number 10 on the list is a card that maybe not a lot of people would include. Uh, I only did it because, first of all, I think this player is fantastic. It's a rookie card, and I just think he has a ton of upside, and I love cards that look like this. So this card was pulled by Leighton Sports Cards. Um, all the people that uh, supplied um, the hits and videos for this will be linked down in the description as well. Layton's been doing it as long as anybody, and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed with this one. Super Fractor Rookie Auto Fernando Tatis Jr. Boom! Number nine. So coming in at number nine on this list is a card that, you know, is actually really funny that this is number nine. Like, in any other product, this would be a, a product hit. I mean, you know, the best card you could absolutely get. And, um... I, I had to have it on this list, and the more that I looked at all the other cards, I was like, wow, is this really getting pushed to nine? But that's how insane it is. This card was pulled by Platinum Card Breaks, um, a, another uh, breaker that's been doing it a long time, and uh, was pretty excited about this one. Oh, Roberto that is huge! One on one jumbo cut. That is, buddy, Roberto you don't know how big that is. Clemente. He's one of the... Number eight. Coming in at number eight is a card that I would be absolutely thrilled to find in this. Uh, something I think is super cool about this product is that you can also find historical figures, ex-presidents, all, you know, all sorts of stuff like that in the cuts, which is absolutely incredible. This one was pulled by DA Card World, and like I said, I would be thrilled to find this card. It is of Thomas Edison. Thomas L. Edison, Thomas A. Edison, signed, paid to the order of Thomas A. Edison, Incorporated. Number seven. Coming in at number seven, like I mentioned with number eight, another historical figure, um, but this one I felt like was just a little bit cooler, and uh, this one was pulled by Firehand Cards. Uh, go and check them out, but this card is a monster in my opinion, and there is a reason he is called the British Bulldog. Back up here to reveal our oversized hit. Our oversized hit is a Winston Churchill cut signature. Wow, that is pretty cool. What a piece of world history right there. There's it right there. Let me see if I can get that pulled out. Wow, that is really cool. Number six. At number six on the list for transcendent hits, this was another one that I felt like could have been much, much higher. You know, paved the way for so many great players to play in Major League Baseball and uh, rocked a number that nobody else will ever again this card would be incredible for any collection. And uh, as you'll see, uh, this breaker, Champ Sports Cards, which is an LCS in Huntsville, Alabama, was uh, pretty stoked to see it. Number five. 
So coming in at number five, I felt like this card deserved to be um, ahead of some of the other cuts on this list, and that's why it finds itself in this spot. Um, I think these cards are incredible. Um, it adds a little bit more than just you know a cut signature. This was also pulled by Layton Sports Cards and uh, definitely deserves to be top five in my opinion. Thurman Munson. Bat, nameplate, cut, signature, one of one, book. Boom! The babe, the babe knob is still out there, and the babe cut. There's still two babers left. Number four. So coming at number four, we kind of go back to the trend of the historical figure cut signatures, and this one I just think is super cool, just given how old it is. Um, you know what an impact this person had uh, on our country, essentially, and it was pulled by Houdini at Blowout Cards, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Well, that's a very good cut. <laughs> uh, John Adams. Number three. So at number three on the list is a player that has made an appearance earlier in this countdown. And this card I felt like was just head and shoulders above the other one. And uh, is a just a, I mean, a card that you could, uh, you know, stow away in your collection and never have any regrets about. That's how cool it is. Um, I'm actually looking for this card to pop up on eBay, possibly. Uh, it was pulled by Nasty Breaks, and it is just phenomenal. Check it out. This one's got the bat barrel, though. That just happened. That just happened. Are you kidding me? Nasty Clemente, bat barrel, and auto. Wow. Wow. Number two. So this is where it got really hard at number two. And I did not know, you know, how to go about doing this, whether this card should be number two or number one or vice versa. Um, finally, I just decided I looked at both cards and, and kind of, you know, kind of went down to what appealed to me the most. And this card is definitely up there. I mean, it's, uh, it's on the product checklist imagery. <laughs> I mean, that's how special this card is, and uh, um, this was also pulled by Houdini at Blowout Cards and came in the same case as the John Adams cut. Um, check it out. You will not be disappointed. His reaction is priceless, and he uh, kind of had to uh, sit down for a second after this one. The Babe Ruth here. Um, so I'm telling you right now, if it's the Babe Ruth, we're looking at it. Golly. Oh my gosh. I gotta sit down. I've never done that before. That's my first one, guys. That's my first one. Number one. So coming in at number one is a card that, like I said, number two, it, it, they could have been flip-flop, but this one I just felt like was Absolutely incredible. I mean, this is something you tell your grandkids about if you have. <laughs> you know, this is just an absolute iconic card and done so, so well. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. It was also pulled by DA Card World, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. It, it, holy crap. There it is. Again? Again. Is that two? Is that a, oh. Babe Ruth cut um, and Babe Ruth bat barrel right there. I'm going to look for a one touch for that. We got to have one somewhere yep. in the warehouse. There it is. Babe Ruth is in the house. We just did that. So that is going to do it for our top 10 countdown of transcendent polls this year. This list was, uh, you know, my opinion only. I know there were some cards that were left off the list that were probably more valuable. There were also some cards that there just wasn't video of that private collectors bought. So I wasn't able to have access to every single card. So this is basically a top 10 of all the cards that I was, um, that I had access to, but nevertheless, I think this is, you know, some of the, some of the best, absolute best cards in this product that you can pull. And I'm hoping that you guys will watch the video where I open this case for myself and hopefully pull something that is just as cool as any of these cards. Uh, like I said earlier to enter for the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a positive comment down in the comments below and, uh, likes and subscribes are always welcome. Um, again, thanks for watching the video and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.